Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about this cheap portable tray table that I bought to put in my Toyota Sienna minivan. The decision to have a table or not have a table is actually pretty big for such a small van. If you have a table, it can take up a lot of space, but if you don't have a table, you might actually end up needing a flat surface that you won't have access to. One key element to my build is that I need the capability to return my minivan to its factory AT configuration quickly, and I also highly value the ability to be discreet when traveling. Luckily, my van usually goes unnoticed when parked alongside of the road in a suburban neighborhood or in a parking lot. I have my off-grid power dialed in with some portable solar generators and an Alpacool C50 mini fridge. I also believe that I have the perfect bed set up at least for a single sleeper in this minivan. I started with a Coleman cot and then I ended up getting a really nice inexpensive bed frame that I will show in a later video. As you can see, this table fits pretty good in the passenger side of my vehicle. My bed usually sits in the driver's side and I keep this passenger side chair from the 60-40 split bench. Keeping this back chair open also helps keep my bed frame in place when I'm moving around. In addition to my bed frame, I also keep my fridge right behind the driver's seat where I'm about to put the tray table. This is the location where I normally store my mini fridge and if I did not need to keep that back seat open, I would actually keep the table on this side of the van so that the bars on the floor wouldn't impede the feet of the table. I want to know what you think about this tray table. Do you think that this is the right fit for this van? Do you have a better idea for a tray table? If you do, let me know in the comments. I do want to be able to pull the table out and set it beside the van and cook a meal. I also want to be able to work on a laptop if I need to. And for me, when this table is not in use in the van, I will store it in my garage. Assembly of this table is not very difficult. Basically, what I did was open the box, take all the pieces out, and lay them out. As I laid them out, I went ahead and set all the screws aside and just went through, read the instructions, and began to put it together. This table also came with one Allen wrench, and in fact, it only needed one Allen wrench for assembly. I enjoy putting things together, and this was not a challenge at all. I have definitely assembled my share of disaster furniture projects. Luckily, this didn't turn out to be one of them. What kind of projects have you assembled? Have you had any issues assembling any of these kind of, you know, screw pre-made prefabricated furniture projects? Let me know in the comments. These little barrel nuts are the only thing that you have to be careful with. They have a specific orientation when they go in and if you don't put them in straight, you've got to jiggle them around to try to get them straight or if you don't have a flat tip screwdriver handy, you've got to go find one and straighten it out. Over the next few months, I plan to set the van back up completely. In the process, I want to document, make some videos, share what I've experienced with you. If that's something that interests you, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it as I go through and make those videos. Recently, I have gotten the bug to film with my camera and share my experience. I am actually surprised with how many people watch my videos. I would never have imagined that some of my videos, you know, three to 500 people a week watch. That's pretty crazy. So if you have made it this far in the video, I just want to take a second to thank you for watching, you know, basically what is the equivalent of watching paint dry as I assemble this portable tray table. It's almost done. So if you have any questions about the process of making this table, just shoot a message in the comments and I'll keep you guys updated, especially if I decide not to keep using this tray table. And I will see you on the next adventure. Thank you for watching.